Hey guys, Crystal and Shadow here, back with Steven Universe, and this time it's Alone Together. So yes, one of your predictions was right. I told you Connie and Steven would finally get together. <laughs> Literally, yes, huh? together. Yeah, yeah. So Steven got to fuse for the first time. I guess because he's half human, he can fuse with humans. Okay then. That's how that works. Yeah, I guess so. Whatever, we had Keevan. <laughs> Keevan? <laughs> yeah, Connie, Stephen. <laughs> oh! I was confused because there's a Kevin in the episode. We had him too. <laughs> it's Stevani, weren't you paying attention? Keevan's better. No, it's really not. <laughs> Well, I'm guessing now everyone has decided that's their ship name. Yes. Obviously. It's nice when a show writes ship names for us. Yeah. Because it's also the name of their fusion. Most, most fusions are just the name of a gem, but because they're, they're not both gems, it's, they just combine their names. So really, Stevani is a quarter gem, and and they still have Stephen's one gemstone. Yep. Uh, we'll see later on that Stevani does have access to all of Stephen's powers. Yes, but okay. So they got taller. Does that mean they kind of aged up? I guess so. Was that what was happening? Was I, when she was when when they were freaking out? Were they both simultaneously suddenly experiencing a shock of puberty? <laughs> I I don't think it really works like that because well, but um fusion wasn't really made for humans, so it's kind of weird. But um as you've seen with gems, um their heights kind of get combined, and of course, which of course means the more gems, the bigger the fusion. I mean, Stevani is basically the height of if Stephen and Connie stood on top of each other. <laughs> so it literally is their combined height. Somebody make them stand up on top of each other. That's the thumbnail now. Oh, so plenty of people have done fan art of them being two kids in a trench coat. Okay. Wonderful. Although Onion and his friends already did the trench coat Oh, yeah, thing. yeah, I knew that happened. <laughs> well, no. Technically, they haven't already done it. Yeah, That's yeah. That's from season two. <laughs> Four. <gasps> no! It'll take us forever to get to that episode. <laughs> You've seen it! I know, I liked it. I want to see it again. <laughs> no, I want to see Onion again. <laughs> we'll see him, we'll see him. <gasps> oh my god, yes! That means Stephen confused with Onion. I won't say anything. Yes! <laughs> I'm 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 gonna start saying I'm not saying anything, even if you're wrong, just, just so to that throw you me off. Yeah, just so you won't know if you're right or wrong. Because no. normally I say I'm not saying anything when you're right, and then that basically confirms it. I'm right, aren't I? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> that means I'm right. I can't confirm or deny any of your dumb theories. <laughs> so Onion does fuse with Stephen. <laughs> He does, doesn't he? If not, I will look... You know what? If I'm wrong, surely fan art exists of a potential fusion. Probably. There's fan art of every possible combination. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Stevani, um, I, I kind of understand what you meant about the puberty thing. Stevani is struggling with the... With the dance. Also, that because, also, I think this is the first time... Yeah, it is the first time that we've seen two people of the opposite gender mix. Well, yeah, because... Because Stephen all, hasn't mixed with anyone and all yeah, the others are female. all gems, yes, are counted as female, yeah. Wait, we're never going to meet a male gem? Not counting Stephen? All gems are technically genderless, but they all use female pronouns. Fair enough. But yeah, which kind of made which kind of made like the hybrid look a bit weird. 
Yeah. <laughs> it really made... A lot of which, people which... mistake Steve Stevani for being female because they well, do okay. look a bit more I, feminine. I mean, we know this show likes to do its oddball things anyway, so you know what? Obviously, it's going to be... Obviously, they're going to be gender neutral. Yes, exactly. Stevani I mean, is... like, technically, you said gems are gender neutral anyway. Yeah, but they use female pronouns. Whereas, I mean, to be fair, this is the one time the word they really is appropriate because it is two people. Yes. Although, like Garnet said, you're not two people and you're not one person. You're an experience. Okay, well, I mean, now, Garnet, you're making the shippers too easy. The show knows what it's doing. (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. But... But, yeah, um... Stevani is considered non-binary, along with any future fusion Stephen will have with gems. Well, yeah, because it's two people put together. But it just made it look, because it's like, so, oh, it's tall, but the body frame does look both kind of masculine and you've got the long hair and feminine face. It yeah. really is very much gender neutral. Uh, there's this one time when they spend quite a long time fused and we see Stevani has to shave their face. Wonderful. <laughs> which is which confirms my theory that they both simultaneously went through puberty. Unless Stephen's already hit that at time. We'll see. I mean to be fair wait, never mind, you did say eventually there's like a time skip, so Yeah. yeah. Wait, Stephen's already had facial hair in that episode where he even like got old. Well, yeah, yeah, but that was him aging up. But that was basically it. It was another episode full of shipping. I guess so. Yeah, it was. It was our our introduction the, the to com- Stevani. The comedy came from all the shocked and weirdness. Like, oh, like I love how shocked everyone. Like Lars and Sadie, which is what that. I loved. Yeah, there's so many thumbnail potential. Do we go with Slaz and Sadie? Do we go with Garnet shocked? Do we go with that bit before they fused when they were together? I was like, that's a thumbnail. Then they fused. Yeah, that dancing was so cute. And can I point out, I know it always is, but the music. So many great music tracks. There's when they were dancing. The music is the equivalent of Felicity's outfit. <laughs> There's, there's when they were dancing before fusing. There's so also... what's next? So what? So when we do flash, is it going to be complimenting Cisco's shirts? <laughs> Just his entire existence. But I, I'm thinking maybe six point five. I'll go seven point five. I will go with seven. Lock it in. Okay, I'll stick with seven point five. Shipping and some good comedy and, you know, the art is always good. And I love I love smash cutting to a shocked expression. It always works. Especially with the art style. It just lends well. Yes. Like when Amethyst goes, Pope, look at Garnet. She's freaking out. <laughs> but anyway, what's the next episode called? It's called The Test. Ah. Uh, well, you know what? Stephen doesn't go to school, so he needs to take a test somehow. It's where we find out that he's got an IQ of three. <laughs> That's mean. That's okay. Connie's got an IQ of 172. Is that good? The average IQ is 100. Yeah, that, that, that would be genius, wouldn't it? Uh, 140 is a qualification for genius IQ, I believe. <laughs> okay, okay. I think the only person ever to have an over 200 IQ was Stephen Hawking. I think. <laughs> I know we had. I know he was labelled as having the highest IQ. Okay, okay. But next episode, we will find out Stephen's IQ. No, we won't. In the comments, tell us Stephen's IQ. <laughs> Dumb. In the comments, tell us our IQ, what you think it is. I think mine's 142. I don't think I ever had it tested. Well, there you go. Next episode, find out her IQ. <laughs> All right, I'll try and find a good test for it and tell you guys. Maybe not next time, because we'll probably be recording it the same day. You can't find an IQ test online. You can't? Not a real one. Okay. Anyway, next time. <laughs>